Welcome back to the channel everyone. We got the second Ascendant Challenge out of the six that there are. We got the two Corrupted Eggs and the Ahamkara Bones. For those of you that are new to the Corrupted Eggs, you are going to need the Wish Ender Bow in order to break them. And of course guys, you're going to need that Tincture to get into the Ascendant Portal. Now this Ascendant Challenge can be found in the Gardens of Esela. And if you guys are just going after the corrupted eggs or the lore, I will have timestamps in the description down below. Now there have been a couple guys who mentioned to me that the videos have been a little dark for the ascending challenges. Now I changed that this time in the editing, try to make it brighter for you guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if it's bright enough for you guys or if I still need to go a little bit brighter. Once making it up to the gardens of Esla, you go ahead and pop your tincture, and the portal can be found behind the second rock on the left. Now once in the ascendant portal, the object of this ascendant challenge is to grab three orbs around the outside of the map, and then you need to slam them in this rift in the middle of the map. And then there's going to be three of the like Ascendant Knights that you need to kill. And once those Ascendant Knights are dead, the chest will spawn for you. Now there are going to be some Cursed Thrall, some Taken Phalanxes, and of course the three Knights that will be following you around. Uh, you don't need to worry about the edge, you can just jump over them and run by them. Now when you get to the middle, all those Phalanxes will be there, but as soon as you slam it, it will take them out. Now the thing that you do have to worry about here is the blights when you're running. Now if you do run into one of these blights, you will get shadow touched and you will lose your jumping ability, making it harder to get back, giving those thrall and the phalanxes an easier job to get to. Now these three orbs are marked on your HUD, making it easier for you to see. About time, I mean, I think this is the only ascendant challenge where you can actually see the objective which is pretty nice because most of the time in these ascending challenges it's kind of hard to see where you have to go and what you need to get. Now I messed up guys when I did this. I came from PvP and I forgot to change my loadout. Now when you step in this rift in the middle after slamming all three orbs you will immediately get your super back. You literally just have to run through it. You don't have to stand it at all. Now if you're a lower light guys I recommend uh, having a roaming super that you can use at a distance, so like a warlock, your uh, dawn blade, uh, for if you're on a titan, your throwing hammers, or if you're on a hunter, your uh, blade barrage, or even your golden gun. Uh, I, I had the void bow here, it didn't really work that great, as I said I forgot to change it when I went into this. But pretty much the objective is guys run through that, and then just try to stay in the air if you can and then just spam your super as much as you can and take out those three knights. Once the knights are dead, the ascendant challenge will be completed. And if you're still having a hard time doing it and your super's not working out for you, there are trees all around here in this middle area. If you stand in one of those trees, the knights won't come after you, so you can just sit there and use your primary or secondary or whatever to window their health down. Now for the Corrupted Eggs guys, I'm going to reference these all to the portal that you take to get out. For the first Corrupted Egg, you're going to run directly behind that portal, and then look down off to the right, and you'll find your first egg. For the second and last egg guys, you go back to the portal, and you're actually going to go to the right. And now you're going to run down here until you see these four broken pillars where the blight is at. You can take the blight out, but you look down to the left, and that's where you're at. Now for Tolan and the Ahamkar Bones, go back to that portal. You're going to run directly behind it, and as you're going up the hill, you want to take a left. Now you're going to run down here a little bit, and then you'll be able to jump off to the left to a tree, and Tolan will be sitting right there. Now if you've already done this, and you've already hit Tolan this week, Chances are if you come back in he's going to be in a different location, but for the first time you come in this during the week, he will be here every time. 
Now after talking to Toland, you can go ahead and jump back onto the ledge and take a left. Now you're going to run the whole way down to the end, and then you're going to jump off to this rock a little bit. And then if you look straight down, you're going to see something glowing down there, and that will be your Aham Carbones. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If this video helped you out. Go ahead and give it a like. Go ahead and share it so your friends can get this done. And newcomers to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more D2 content like this.